want to uh, remove some products that you don't want to uh, show them in the product feed that uh, we inserted before okay so then uh as alaikum my name is Muhammad Ali Raza and welcome to my youtube channel marketing chamber today i am going to discuss uh, with you about the data feeds uh, the products that are uh, visible in your flows uh, in bottom uh, there is written you might like okay so it is the dynamic block about the uh, products so uh, let me show you uh, first uh, what is the dynamic block that I am uh, discussing about okay so uh, I'll go to the campaign and after clicking on it uh, I will select another campaign create campaign okay create campaign okay so after clicking on it uh, we will see a new uh, screen okay so just for formality I am selecting uh, I am selecting a list like okay so then continue to content so first I will show you uh, what I am discussing about the product block and then uh, we will discuss that how we can manage it okay so after click uh, I will click on drag and draw okay so then uh, we will select uh, a template so let's suppose I click on uh, I see on cycle uh, template name okay so then so here I will add the product block okay so let's suppose I will add here okay so then uh, I will click on uh, populate from feed and I will select, uh, select this option so I will show uh, what is this option okay so then I will click on save so here are two options uh, you can uh, add uh, by your own or you can uh, populate it uh, from uh, settings that you will uh, set okay so I will show how you can uh, make settings so after clicking on it uh, I will save it and then I will click on preview and show directly in Clavio okay so then here you can see the products are visible okay so uh, why these three products are uh, visible to us uh, instead of uh, many other products because we make settings uh, accordingly okay so that's why these products are uh, looking to us so i will show you how we can change the settings okay so just take like so uh, now i will go back to the clavio okay so then uh, we will uh, change the setting and we will discuss that how and where we can change settings okay so here you can see the data feed okay so uh, then I will click on uh, this option uh, just is taking time so I will click on uh, data feed okay so from here you can see so here you can see this is the name that I was uh, discussing that I will show you okay show up popular all categories so uh, we can uh, change its name also from here and then I will click on it and uh, let's move towards our uh, main purpose of this video okay so from here you can change the feed name okay so uh, this is item filters like if you want to uh, remove some products that you don't want to uh, show them in the product feed that uh, we inserted before okay so then uh, you can click on this exclude some uh, specific categories like if I uh, remove scooters okay so I will click on scooter and this will remove all the scooters and it will not show the scooter in that product feed in that uh, product block that we inserted in the campaign okay so uh, no what is the uh, this option this is limit to specific categories like if you want to show us uh, the products only related to two to three categories two collections three collections so then you have to click here okay so from here you can uh, click on scooter okay so uh, from here you can click on scooter and uh, bicycle okay so from here sorry buy so from here uh, we can select okay so uh, in this way you can uh, limit this uh, uh, product block that we insert in campaign uh, to some collections that you would uh, love to share with your uh, subscribers 
okay so these were the two options now here is the ordering that on what basis uh, you want to show you uh, you want to show the products to your subscribers uh, to your audience okay so uh, here are the three options like popular product first so which products are popular for your store uh, these products should be uh, visible to the customers or random uh, it is a second options like uh, Clavio will uh, suggest randomly different products uh, from the uh, categories that you will uh, specify okay so uh, if you don't specify uh, then uh, it will select the random products from all products of your store and popular products uh, from all products of your store and this is the trending products like if your uh, product is uh, trending uh, your uh, customers are demanding so then it will uh, show the trending products first okay so uh, I want uh, popular products or uh, trending products first so I will click on uh, trending product first, uh, first. so let's discuss uh, this uh, metric okay so uh, what is that meaning so first one is order product so if you select on order product so then it will show those products that have uh, more order from your customers okay so if we select uh, viewed products so then it will show those products that are mostly viewed from your customers so if you select on blended so then it will uh, show those products that have more orders and uh, most views okay so then we will click on uh, this save uh, product feed and then uh, your uh, product feed and your product blog that you add in campaigns or flows and that will be updated okay so this was the today uh, topic uh, today uh, objective of this video that uh, how to change and how to make settings for your product blog so if you find some good thing from this video and uh, you don't have subscribed my channel up till now so kindly do subscribe stay tuned and stay happy thank you